manners in supermarkets. Supermarkets are distribution center and they help you in getting things that you need nearly every day in your home or offices or to help you get along in life. So we need them to be able to get easily items we may not be able to source ordinarily on our own. So they are there providing essential services to us. They are part of the chains in distribution, in helping an economic grow. Manufacturers can produce products, but if they don't get a good distribution center, then the product will not sell. So supermarkets are very important in distribution of goods and services. They also provide us this variety of goods to enable us to choose which one we prefer. So they are helping us and saving the energy of going around all places to look for what we want. Most times, they serve as one-stop shop for nearly everything we need in a household. And they are in business. They are not charity organizations. They are in business to make profit. So therefore, when you go to supermarkets, you should know that, number one, they are helping you. Number two, you have to be able to help them to do the work they are doing well. And to do that work, you have to follow the lay-down procedure in the supermarket. You have to follow the lay-down procedure. If they ask you to drop your bag in a box or at a point with the security, please do that. It is for your own good. You are honest, but some other people may not be as honest as you are. So drop your bag. Go into a supermarket with good intention of making your purchase and going out of the place. They are there to please you. They have well-trained people who are always ready to make sure that you are satisfied. But you must help them, like I have said, don't carry objects that are not needed into the supermarket. And do not touch any item that, does not, that you are not buying. There are rules guiding purchases. Don't go and be toying with items that you are not buying. And when you are buying the item, follow the right selection process. Follow the right selection process. Always wait for your turn when you are make, pay, pay, making payment with the cashier. Don't jump the queue. And once you disturb the queue, then it is not right. So always wait for your turn. If you are the oldest there, and you have far younger people ahead of you, follow the queue. Because I know you may, give a, you may allow older people to pass sometimes, but you are not the same as other people in the supermarket. So follow the queue and ensure that you don't disrupt the other. Be polite and patient with the staff of the supermarket. Try to be patient with them. They are working hard to satisfy you. You may not know. They are under pressure too. But once you are patient, things will work faster for both of you and you will get out of the place to do other things. Ask questions if you are in doubt. Even if you want to purchase a product, you may not know much about the product. Ask people on the shop floor. If you don't have somebody where you are standing, try and locate a staff of the organization. Sometimes they wear branded uh, clothes that shows that they are working in the organization. Call them to explain the product to you. Do not mistakenly take anything that you are not buying. Because once you get to where you are going to pay, it will be account, it will be totaled to your bill. So if you are not buying it, don't take it. If you are not sure of the price, ask. If there is no price tag on it, ask. Put the trolley in the right place or the carrier 
basket in the right place. If you throw it anyhow, you will be the next person who will need it next time and find out that it was thrown anyhow. Do not be a nuisance in the supermarket. Some people go in there with their electronic uh, gadget on, their music on their phone, loud it and misbehaving. So don't be a nuisance. Do not overstay in the supermarket. When you are parabolating, they have a right to ask you if you want anything you are not getting. So do not overstay. Do not eat in the hall. Even if you have a food product with you, it is not a restaurant unless it is a restaurant. And do not dirty the place. Some people go in uh, with foreign items and just throw it around. Make sure that you are in order. Don't throw tissue paper or anything that you are throwing away just anyhow. If for any reason you have to dispose something in the supermarket, ask them where to put it. And once going to the supermarket, dress well. You are going to meet people there who will judge you by your appearance. And if you are not properly dressed, they may ask you not to go into the place. And you may feel embarrassed. It is not because you are making a purchase that you have a right to dress anyhow. Dress as if you are going for business, because you are going for business. It, supermarkets are not love nest, where people go and be looking for a uh, relationship to cultivate. I'm not saying it is not possible, but that is not a love nest. It's not a nightclub. It is not a Valentine joint. It is there for business. If you don't have any business there, you don't have to go there. Some people go into supermarket to take pictures. Ask for the rule if it's ever allowed. And I think it is not polite. I think if it's ever allowed, then they will turn the supermarket to a photographic studio. Where maybe there is a section you are allowed to take picture outside or within the supermarket. But you don't turn the place to a photographic studio. If you have any complaint, lodge the complaint with the appropriate people. Ask for supervisors on the floor that can help you. This we have analyzed for youth, but adults may also learn from it. Sometimes you have been to supermarkets, but all over the world you have different shades of supermarkets. Sometimes you are entering into a place that you have never seen that type of place before. So, there is no harm if you ask questions. If you are lost of what you want to buy or you don't know where to get what you are interested in, ask. They will willingly show you. And don't open any object that you have not bought. If you are not sure of what is inside, ask. And if they are willing to demonstrate it to you, they will demonstrate it to you. If you are a good customer, they will always be willing to welcome you back. And if you are a good customer, you'll be happy that you are part of good customers of such an organization. And I know you'll be better off if you're a good customer. 